Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a way to send me a file. Tell me exactly what you want. He wants to cut out the eyes and the nose. The other items will be engraved, and he wants to cut out the whole thing. So he's already done all the work. He's already traced it and got everything ready. And he also had questions about right click, left click that I mentioned quite a bit. So if we take this and ungroup it, we can take that eye and I'm going to nudge it over. Okay, first of all, find out how big our, it's a little bit more in two, so we'll set our nudge factor on three inches. And also, just for a pet P of mine, I would set your duplicate distance or your, you know, your duplicate distance on zero, zero, and then save it as default. But anyway, let's take that eye and let's nudge it over. Let's take the other eye and nudge it over. Let's take the nostrils and nudge them over and look at them. They are a CMYK, they are a hairline, but this is an RGB red, so you need to right click and it's gonna make those a hairline. So if we look at everything on here, there's no lines. And we can test that by left click, right click, and you can see the line, but there are no lines so we're good to go because there, there's not gonna be any hairlines in there. Now, this is a great way to use the boundary tool. So I created a boundary around the whole thing and he wants to cut it out. Of course, it's a CMYK 500 point, but we can double click on here. Let's move it out of the way so you can see it happen. We're gonna go, we're gonna change this to an RGB because he's a laser engraver. And then we're going to turn it to red and then change it to a hairline. So now all these are going to cut out, but it all depends on whether you want to cut it out right on the engraving, as you can see in here, or you want it to cut out and leave a little bit. So I've nudged it back over. Let's go to effects and contour. Let's contour just to that side, 0.025 to the outside with rounded corners and hit apply. It contoured it perfectly. Go up to object, break contour apart. And then if you grab that on the inside, you can nudge the old one out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and make this a, and you can just do this from here. I'm going to right click and now it is a red hairline. And if left click and right click, your fill is your left because it's on the left side where your outline is on the right. So this is right, this is left. So if you know that if you click no fill, like, well, let's make something that's got a fill just for grins. So we gotta, let's make the outline red and make the inside black. So you can see them right here. But if we left click no fill, and then we can left right click no outline, the object's still there, but it's not, you, know, you can change it. So that's why you always, and kind of how you know left click, right click is by down here at the bottom of the screen. So now all we have to do is move these two items back. I always check to make sure there's not a hairline in here and it's not. And then just grab all these and nudge them back. And if you run on a combination job, it's going to engrave it first and then cut it. Now it's not, you know, it's not the most perfect image. You could clean this up a little bit. Just all depends on how big you're gonna do it. Let's, let's nudge this contour out of the way for a second. And you could very easily clean up this, this head by taking the shape tool. If you have X7 or above, you could use a smoothing tool, click on your item and just kind of take out some of that roughness. It's not too bad, so I wouldn't really worry about it. Everything else looks pretty good, but you're ready to go. And then you can just nudge it over individually into that spot. And then what's good about this, the hairlines won't change in size. So you can make this as large because all the black is a fill. It's never gonna get any larger. You could make it huge and the hairlines are still gonna be hairlines. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.